you've got four different blood groups. Blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. The different blood groups denote the different markers that exist on the cell membranes of each of the red blood cells. So each of the blood groups will have a different marker on the cells. As you can see here, blood group A, B, A, B, and O all have different markers on their cell membranes. So different blood groups A, B, A, B, and O have different markers on the red blood cells based on their group. This is important because if you're blood group A and you are given blood group B blood in hospital, your blood cells can clump together, which can kill you. The gene responsible for the A, B, and O markers has three alleles, IA, IB, and IO. Everyone has two copies of the allele in any combination. If you've got IA and allele IA, that means you have got the blood group A. IA, IA is homozygous because the alleles are the same. If you've got the alleles IB and IB, that means you have the blood group B. IB, IB alleles are homozygous because the alleles are the same. Let's see what happens if you've got the alleles IA and IO. IA is the dominant allele, whereas IO is the recessive allele. This means that the dominant allele is going to be expressed instead of the recessive allele. This will give you the phenotype, the blood group A. IA, IO are different alleles, so this person is heterozygous. So if you've got the genotype IB, IO, the allele IB is dominant, whereas the allele IO is recessive, meaning you're going to have the phenotype blood group B. IB, IO are different alleles, so that means that this person is heterozygous. So if someone is IO, IO, that means they have two recessive alleles, which means that the person is going to have the phenotype blood group O. And IO, IO are the same allele, so this person is homozygous. So what about if someone is IA, IB? Well, then you've got two dominant alleles that are both going to be expressed. This is codominance, where two alleles are expressed at the same time to give a phenotype of blood group A, B. This is codominance. Let's now do a genetic cross using a Punnett square. The man is blood group A and the female is blood group B. The male's genotype is IA, IA. The female's genotype is IB, IB. So using a Punnett square, we can put their possible gametes. I, B, I, B, and IA, and IA for the man. So if now we do the genetic cross, it's going to be IA, IB, IA, IB, IA, IB, and again, IA, IB. So the chances of the IA, IB genotype is going to be 100%, which means that all of their children can only have the blood group AB. Let's now imagine one of their children go on to have children of their own. This child is IA, IB of a blood group AB. And he has children with a woman who is also IA, IB with the blood group AB. Pause the video and draw upon its square and calculate the percentage chances of which blood groups this couple can have. So we can put their possible gametes into a Punnett square. So that would be IA, IB and IA, IB for the man. So the possible zygotes formed with blood group type could be IA, IA. It could also be IA, IB, IA, IB, and also IB, IB. The chances of a child with blood group type IA, IA, which will give them a blood group of blood group A, is going to be 25%. There will be a 50% chance of having a child with the codominant AB genotype and the 25% chance of having a child with the IB, IB blood group phenotype. This person here is blood group O, so they can only have the genotype IO, IO, and they have a child with a woman with the blood group A, IA, IA. Pause the video and draw upon its square and calculate the percentage chances of which blood groups this couple can have. Possible gametes the man can have will be IO, IO, and the woman, I A I A. So the genotypes their children can have can be I A O, I A O, I A O, and I A O. 
so there'll be a 100% chance of having a child with the alleles IAIO, so they'll be heterozygous for IAIO, giving them a blood group of blood group A, because A is dominant over the recessive O, giving them a blood group of blood group A. And remember, the person with the genotype IAO now carries the O allele. So this child here will grow up and potentially have children. Their genotype is IAIO, the blood group A. And let's say that they have a child with a woman, blood group B, but her alleles are IBIO. So she is also a carrier of the O allele. Pause the video and draw upon its square and calculate the percentage chances of which blood groups this couple can have. So the possible gametes for the man are going to be IAIO. The possible gametes for the woman are going to be IBIO. So the possible genotypes of their children can be IAIB, which will show co-dominance and the blood group AB. Then it can be IB. I O and that child will have the phenotype blood group B. It can also have the genotype I A I O and then have the phenotype blood group A. However, both parents can pass on their recessive allele I O and I O from the woman. So the chance of having a codominant A B phenotype will be 25%. Blood group type B will be 25% because the B allele is dominant over the recessive O allele. And then there'll be a 25% chance of having blood group A because A is dominant over the recessive O. However, as both parents can pass on their recessive allele, there'll be a 25% chance of having a blood group O baby. Blood group type AB will also be 25%. Blood group A will be 25%. Blood group B will also be 25%. Remember that the genotype IAIB is showing codominance. This is because two dominant alleles are being co-expressed to form the phenotype blood group AB. Pause the video here to answer this six mark question. The answers will follow. Pause the video here to check your answers. If you made any mistakes, go back and rewatch the video.